What's up guys, how are we doing? So, here we are for another episode of Fate Grand Order Absolute Demonic from Babylonia. So, we'll be watching episode 10 today. And the last episode was really interesting, we got to see a lot of Ishtar, which I really appreciated, as she is like my favorite one so far. And it was like really funny how they were like, uh, basically buying her with all of those treasures, and like uh, trying to make like a, a deal with her, and giving her like a percentage of the of the treasures that uh, uh, Gilgamesh has in his like Gate of Babylon. And yeah, it was like really interesting to see all of that. And thankfully she is like a, she's on board apparently. She's willing to help them. And I mean it's mostly because out of interest because of all of those treasures like she was she just couldn't say no to all of that. And it was like really surprising to see like Gilgamesh also offering like so much j just to have uh, like her help. So it's like a like a bigger surprise considering like the Gilgamesh we know from like the other anime and like I know that in this one it's like before he gets like um that guy we know so he's like a like a, a more kind person and like we saw a lot of how he's like dealing with all of the people in Uruk and how nice of a king he is right now so it's really like the really interesting to see all of that and we know that they are now going back to Uruk probably to meet Gilgamesh and yeah it's going to be interesting to see like I'm really curious to see when uh, Gilgamesh faces Ishtar uh, like again we saw like the last time it was like almost a battle and she was she just like rushed in inside of the of Uruk and was just like messing around but yeah it's going to be interesting to see if they are going to reach Uruk in this episode or not it was also really interesting to see like uh, Ishtar's uh, interaction with Fujimaru as well. And yeah, I'm just like really, really excited to be watching this. It's uh, It's been like a really fun anime and I've been playing uh, the story in the game uh, like until this point, no, not like any further. And yeah, I must say that the anime is like really, really good. Like uh, it's a really good adaptation of this story. And probably like even better than in the game, even though the game uh, like explains a lot more stuff. But I feel like this anime really adapted uh, all of this really well and made these scenes really funny. So yeah, it's going to be nice to to watch this and to discover what happens in today's episodes. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys are ready and let's start it. Oh, they're already already back. Look at Ishtar on the left. <laughs> yeah, sure, let's put it like that. <laughs> I guess I left to kill myself. <laughs> Oh my god, this is epic. Yeah. Rehabilitating. X of Marduk. Okay. I have no idea what that X is. But I guess it was the weapon that got used before to deal with uh, Gorgon. His first moment was already really fun. Just watching like Ishtar complaining and like <laughs> it's just like really fun to to see her. It's probably going to be... I don't know if it's going to be common from now on. Like, seeing Ishtar with Gilgamesh. And them just like... Messing with each other. I 
I really like this part of the opening. We have yet to see that one in, in action. I know she's a uh, she's a rider. That's about everything I know. I believe she was introduced before, but yeah, we haven't seen her fighting yet. Where is it though? Oh. So they're going to face that one again. Fujimura basically. Oh, she knows. Oh, it's this one. So she wasn't... Yeah, that's her name. So she wasn't introduced before, I was just like, trying to remember. Ooh! Well, she's already there, apparently. It's her. <laughs> They're just like looking for her and she's like knocking at their doors. Um, she's just like playing with them. <laughs> this girl. Damn. Oh, there's Mesh. Damn, you got lucky. Was about to get body slammed by that. So she's actually really strong. I'm curious about her legend. Seems to be talking Spanish, so... Oh, so she, she's the, the other one. Oh, nice. I might have said it before, but I didn't realize it. Um. Really? Well, that was fast. My god, these goddesses. Hmm. She's actually bad. Um. Only. 
Really, that's the reason. Oh, damn. She has a personal mount as well. Oh my. Well, at least I prepared now. Oh, there's a... Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh, and she's collecting them. Really? This one. Yep. She's triggered. Damn, that eater. Um, yeah. So she's the one collecting the corpses to make like the demonic beasts. Not sure if that's what's like happening. Oh, damn. Just typical Fujimura. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> She's always really far for them from them. Hmm. Oh. Right. <laughs> Damn. Hmm. Surprise attack. Okay. Right. 
Gonna's extermination plan. Yeah. It's like a double mission. Yeah, that was pretty scary. Yeah, but she said she would do like how she wanted. Yeah. Um so she's really Irish. She can have like, she's like a... That was pretty obvious now. I wonder why it happens when she sneezes, but... Sure. So they're basically the same person. But she's like Ishtar most of the time. Wonder if Eresh was the previous girl. Like the 30% she was talking about. Yep. quite sad um oh, it's full yep <laughs> so adorable beast of disaster Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. And there's like these two names, Yamat and Gorgon. There she is. They just ignore her, <laughs> just like that. Oh my god. She's gonna get ignored again. <laughs> I love how everyone is just like... <laughs> it's like invisible. <laughs> Aww. I want to believe she's not that bad. That weapon. Yeah, Ishtar is... A match to you.
It was an headshot. Servants die when they get killed. Really? Yeah, apparently. Yeah, I hope they get her in their sight. Oh, really? Those work. Impossible. <laughs> Those puns. Is actually doing this. <laughs> well, she apparently liked it. Just like that. <laughs> really? Oh my god. I bet that in the game it's not this simple. You actually have to fight her, probably. Oh, she's so fun. Well... Yeah. Man, this is going to be hilarious to see these guys together. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay, so it's not about... The human sacrifices to make the demonic beasts. Oh. I'm gonna try. Um. Yeah. There she is. So that's probably going to be the... Yeah, that's probably going to be the next episode. Damn.
So apparently this one can be even stronger than Gorgon. That's already impressive. Considering that Gorgon is already like out of their league. And they're like willing to try, so that's gonna be quite something. And I bet that the, in the game, this part is... I don't know if it's like really hard, but if she's that strong... I don't know. I already played the part in the game where you have to face Gorgon. Uh, like, during the fight that happened like two episodes ago. And... She had like 2 million HP and you had like to take a certain percentage of HP. And yeah, while it was like kinda easy, uh, I still don't know like the next fights, like how they're going to be. But if this one is that strong, probably gonna be quite hard to defeat her. It was really this episode was really phenomenal. We we got to see so many like fun things. We got to see Ishtar with with Ilgamesh like at the start, and it's going to be really fun to watch like Ishtar uh, like with them and like doing all of these funny things. And yeah, it's just like really entertaining when she's on screen. And we also got to see like uh, how this Jaguar man joined them. I was just like uh, like wondering if she was like that bad. She didn't seem like to be like a bad person. Like I don't know, maybe the way she behaved, uh, like she was like like just really fun. And while she was doing like bad things, like uh, like kidnapping those people, I, I don't know. She she always seems like so funny, and I always wanted to believe that she was like a a good person and not like just some like evil uh, figure. So apparently it was really easy to get her on, on their side and I was quite surprised to see that she was basically like willing to join them just because of the compliment that uh, Fujimaru did to her. So yeah, anyway, it was also really interesting to see that part with Ishtar when she was talking with Fujimaru and I know that it happened uh, previously when she sneezed we saw like a, a different side of her. But in this episode, we got to see it clearly that it was uh, Eresh. So, I don't know like exactly how that works. I don't know if Eresh was the girl that, like, from before, like the girl that Ishtar went into or something. Like, you guys know what I mean. So, she was saying like she's 70% uh, Ishtar and 30% uh, of the other one. So, I'm guessing if Eresh is the 30%. Uh, but I guess we'll eventually learn about it. It's going to be like interesting to see uh, Eresh in action as well and to see what she can do. Uh, but yeah, that's probably going to happen probably at a later point. I, uh, maybe it will happen during this fight, who knows, uh, against Quez. Uh, like, it's going to be really hard to remember her name. It's just really complicated. I'm going to call her Quez, I guess. But yeah, anyway, it was like... A really fun episode and we got to see lots of fun moments and yeah now they have like this big fight in front of them i don't know if they're going to like accomplish something with it i don't believe they're going to be able to defeat her uh like at this point but who knows they have the jaguar man they have ishtar they have merlin they have like they have a lot of servants on their side now so well this girl is probably like really strong uh I don't know, maybe with them all together and like with their teamwork and all of that, maybe they will be able to like do something and prevent her from invading Uruk and like killing those 100 people per day. So we also know that um, Gorgon is going to make uh, her appearance in Uruk in 10 days, I believe. Uh, I believe it like one day passed, so probably nine days now. So yeah, it's, they also need to have that in mind but yeah it's going to be interesting to see what happens and it's it was just like a really good episode and i can't wait for the other ones anyway now that like in the game uh since i can't like proceed in the story since i'm like wanting to watch the anime blindly and not like knowing what's going to happen um i just uh took the opportunity and did all of the side quests uh to gather a bit of saint quartz and now I'm just like waiting for a, a good banner, probably the Eresh one, I believe she's coming uh, near Christmas. And yeah, then I just uh, like, I basically just finished that, I completed all the side quests, and now I don't have much to do, I just like, I'm going to do like the dailies, gather materials and level up my servants. 
and then I'm going to cry a bit about not like being able to participate in the Christmas event. But it is what it is, just to like give you guys and to enjoy this uh, like as a blind reaction. So yeah, um, I'm just like really looking forward for the Da Vinci event because I feel like these events really give a lot. And yeah, I'm here hoping to get another five star eventually. Like who knows when? Maybe maybe in the next event, maybe in one year. Like who knows? Just like really luck based. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this episode. And if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next week for another episode. So see ya.